Glass towers rise with shadows all around us. The city is an old flaw. I feel a lot of limitations in daily basis. But what's interesting is that I do not feel them as much when I ride a bike. This place where we are now, it wouldn't be possible for me to, to walk on the prosthetic leg here, but I can ride these trails, the single tracks, pretty easily and that's cool. It's cool because I can go and feel the nature and explore the, the, the the places that I couldn't normally reach. I could never leave the falling Oh, my eyes betray an open door I would say that mountain biking could be some kind of a therapy for me because uh, nothing else cleans my mind so easily and so deeply. holding in a sad song Ten years ago, the sense and feeling of freedom was brutally taken away from me because at the beginning I, I didn't have any prosthetic leg and I couldn't do anything on my own. The things that we do today, uh, that's freedom. Yeah, I can go to the woods with a group of friends on the mountain bike and be almost as fast as, as them. That gives feeling of freedom, that's freedom. <laughs> Being a part of the mountain biking community is very important for me. It gives some kind of a sense of belonging because my friends are very supportive and they don't look at my limitations. When we hit the trails, we, we share the, the emotions, the, the passion that we have to mountain biking and that's really cool. Riding bikes is a big part of his life and it makes him happy. I think he changed a lot, like, you know, a lot of happiness and joyful he, he had before were coming back to him. That brings a lot of joy in his life, I suppose, and you, you can see that, you know, we can see that as his family. Despite all my disabilities, I'm still able to do what I do, to ride a bike. I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that. Yeah? It, it was the long road, the, the very difficult process. It took a lot of tiny steps and finally we did it. <laughs> my first ride in an adaptive form was pretty emotional extremely exhausting it took only 15 minutes on the simple gravel road and i was the happiest person on the planet <laughs> I want to live a happy life and ride my bike as long as it will be possible. 
I won't go. When I woke up in a hospital 10 years ago, I was trying to find the people who were involved into adaptive sports like snowboarding, mountain biking. And it was pretty inspirational to me because it gave me hope that maybe one day I will be able to, to ride a bike again. So yeah, I hope that this whole story uh, will be inspirational for people who are struggling right now after some kind of injuries or any difficult life situation. Oh.